Selected, flexed, rewind, rewind one time for the lovers out there. Everybody out there in the T Love world. Yeah, here it is, here it is for the lovers out there. What's up, everybody? T Love Talks, episode 13. Come on in. New music, new music. Flex it, flex it. I choose you. What's up, family? Yeah, I know, I know. I missed last week, didn't I? It's all good. We back, though. T-Love Talk. 
We back though, y'all. We back. So we just doing the kind of a end of the year. I mean, we ain't gonna call it the end of the year wrap up. Cause we still got, you know, what, eleven more days. But we just we just gonna talk a little bit. We're gonna talk we're gonna talk good and bad twenty eighteen. Whatever that consists of. Whatever y'all talking about out there. Good and bad. Y'all give me y'all good and bad. I don't give a damn what it is. Just let your boy know what happened in 2018. You know what? I don't even think it's going to be important for people to say what they're going to change in 2019. Because you know what? A lot of times when you start saying your resolutions and stuff you're going to get done, and people hear that, you know what I'm saying? And like, it offsets you a lot of times because, you know, other people be looking at what your goals are and what your expectations are when you truly should be the only one that's, you know what I'm saying, manifesting that and, and, and having power over that. So this year, that's what I'm doing. I recommend don't tell nobody your resolution. Just do it. Yeah, you know I mean, 2019, just, I mean, if you want to lose a few pounds or whatnot, yeah, go ahead and uh, handle that. But don't don't be telling, you know what I'm saying, you, everybody, you, you this what you doing, you know what I mean? Just do it, y'all, just do it. That's my message to you. But, uh, yeah, y'all just heard I Choose You, you know what I mean? That's a new jam, so... We talking about goods and bads of 2018. I just dropped that like, what, a couple of weeks ago, a week and a half ago. So I'm proud of that song. I like that song. It's a dope song. You know what I mean? Coming from yours truly, Mr. T. Love. I need to see who all are chiming in tonight. Uh, let's see what's up here, y'all. But yeah, okay, okay. But yeah, y'all tell me what's good, though, man. It's been, it's been a little minute. Y'all know I got to put my thing here together. Y'all tell me what's going on. Shit. Oh, man. Oh, should I talk about my incident? I better, I better leave that alone. I better, mm. leave, I better leave that incident alone. Had an incident at the uh, hell school. I might as well talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, man. Cause it's, I'm talking about good and bads of the year. Good and bads of the year. And, you know, I definitely, man, I don't, I don't know, man. We're in a different time right now. We're in a different time. You can't sugarcoat this shit. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. Everybody trying to run away from the topic, man. But you can't sugarcoat this shit, man, with this. Uh, it seems like this. This agenda that's playing out, you know what I mean? Um, and that agenda, what I'm talking about is like the feminized, the feminization of the black man. And I ain't going to stay on this long. I'm just going to tell y'all this little story. And um, so, do I even want to talk? Do I even want to talk about this story? I don't even know if I want to talk about this. I done brought it up now. It's so controversial, the topic, man. But I don't know. Y'all can tell me. Y'all can tell me how y'all feel about it. I'm going to tell y'all about it. So I goes up to the hair school, right? I go up there to get twisted up. You know, not my first rodeo at the hair school. You know how it is. You've been to a hair school before. You go to a hair school, there's women all over the hair school. Women everywhere. Women getting their hair done, girls getting their hair done. You usually don't see too many men inside of the uh, inside of the hair school. So I go up there early this week, right? So I walk in, um, girl at the counter, like, um, yeah, we do dreads, whatever. We do retwist. Only gonna be forty bucks to get your retwist done. Uh, I'm like, so what if what's up if I wanna you know wanna style or something like this? And, you know, extra twenty dollars right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No problem. So, I'm sitting there, you know, on my phone, looking at my little social media, waiting on my hair tech to come and do my hair. So, I'm sitting, chilling, you know, 
relax and you know. Now granted, I'm in a hair school full of women. So I'm approached by um, Miss Ashley. Miss Ashley says that she's ready to do my hair. I mean, come on, I talk about this stuff all the time. So I mean, I'm aware. A lot of y'all, I don't know how y'all not aware, but I'm aware. So when I looked at Miss Ashley, I immediately was like, Miss Ashley is a transgender. Okay, now, I already put in my disclaimer. I don't hate nobody, but I do stand on certain principles and I do have a certain integrity about myself. So, I thought about this thing, right? Okay, you let you let your homeboy cut your hair, right? You know what I'm saying? You let your homeboy, your barber, nine times out of ten, most men, barbers are male. Granted. But this is a different scenario, a different process, a different moment. When you got dreads and you go in a salon, your dreads, especially if they dirty, they have to be deeply washed. And they have to be deeply conditioned. So, all I'm saying is, I don't want, and some may say I'm wrong for calling Miss Ashley a man, but in my eyesight, I feel like Miss Ashley is a man. Now, y'all can say I'm being mean, y'all can say I'm wrong. What not? I was not rude to Miss Ashley. I mean, bruh. <clears throat> but I'm just saying, I stand on certain principles, and I talk about this shit all the time. And then it was just so it was so crazy because after I told bro, like, hey, nothing against you. I'm sure you great with dreads. Me personally, though, I just would preference having a woman do my retwist. I, that's just me personally. I said, so if you don't mind, Miss Ashley, could you go and relay that to the manager? Or maybe I can talk to the manager and, and you know, and let her know that. So, boom. So I'm sitting there. I'm thinking I handled this, you know, the right way. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I handled it the right way. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there. I'm thinking, hey, boom. You did the right thing, T-Love. You stood on your foundation, your integrity. You're not going to let a man do a retwist, massage your hair, do wash. You, you're you not going to do that. You're just not going to do that. So as I'm sitting there, the manager walks back over to me. She looks at me and she says, sir, we do not allow discrimination in our hair school. I, I'm not going to tell you what I said to her. I will tell you what I said to her. I said, ma'am, I said, I have two daughters that I am raising. And that was it. She said, huh? I said, I have two daughters that I'm raising. I don't know if she got what I was saying, but for any little girl out there in the world, how you look at your father, you look at your father, when you look at your father, I don't, can you see another man washing, massaging your father's hair? Just think about that. Some of y'all might. I don't know. Some of y'all might, I'm just saying. But I'm saying that's not normal. If a man had ever washed my hair before, it probably was my dad and I probably was still in Pampers. And my mom probably was gone somewhere. But other than that, no, dog, no, you can't. So fast forward later in the week. No, the next day. The next day, the next day. The next, very next day, right? 
So I told my wife about it, you know. So whatever. I told my wife about it. So the very next day, I come in contact with one of the other um, one of the students that attends the same school where this Miss As Mr. Ashley was at. So, um, you know, I told her what happened. You know what I mean? I was like, hey, boom, 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 boom. This is what happened. I was like, you probably heard about it. And she was like, yeah. And then she proceeded to say, Miss Ashley was very hurt. By what you said, Miss Ashley was very broken up by that. She was broken up. Shaking up. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of felt good about it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. But. I have a responsibility. Not only to myself, but to my race. When I see these young brothers out here that's going through these changes, I'm going to be clear on how certain members of society feel about that shit. I mean, that's 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 just what being real is about, man. You just can't take just anything. You just can't let people put you in a situation and 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 you know in your heart is something not right about the situation, but yet you don't say nothing. You just fall back like it's all good. So I'm guessing me being the only man in that hair school, that's the line. All of those women, 30, 40 women around, getting their hair done, working, whatever. I don't see any other men in there. You send Miss Ashley, a transgender, over to do my reach with my dread. I feel like I conducted myself well. Because, I mean, I could have been like, I mean, it, it could have been, it could have been ignorant. A nigga could have got ignorant. What you, what you mean? What you mean? What you mean? You feel like this bitch? What you mean, dog? No, no. I'm in a room full of women. No, you can't do nothing to my head, bro. I understand you have a, you think you're a woman. You, you, I, but I know you're not. You're not. You're not. Now I feel like the manager, and my thing was, let me call, let me break it down. So my thing was, <clears throat> Miss Ashley, Mr. Ashley, however you want to say, it, he, he, this brother has a preference of being who he is. Okay, nobody, nobody wants, everybody wants to say that's okay. He has that preference. To be who he is as whatever, transgender, okay, whatever. He has that preference. But me, don't I have a preference to have a woman do my retwist or my, where my preference at? God damn. I'm paying you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're in a society that is, that is, about to fade off the black man if we don't stand up and have some freaking ball. This is going to make us fade away. This is going to fade away. It's real out here, man. But there are certain black men that will not fade away. We won't fade away. We'll be around. You know, the most difficult thing about being a black man like like me in the modern time is really staying out of prison, staying out of jail. That's really the most difficult thing because 
of a nigga environment and where a nigga come from, a lot of times you want to react in a way that's not conducive to I mean society basically because society feel like every black man pretty much should be timid you should you know walk with a smile 24 hours a day 7 days a week you know laugh a lot not be too threatening maybe not have you know, if you're going to have hair on your face, make sure everything else is super clean, you know, maybe bald even, you know, nothing too intimidating. You know, America doesn't want you to be too intimidating, black man. For some reason, America doesn't want you to look too intimidating. You're scary. You are scary, dude. When people see you, brother, they walk across the street if it's too late in the evening. Those are your stereotypes, black man. But guess what, though? All is not lost. I mean, I know all is not lost for me because I have a certain awakening to where... I'm going to stay far, 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 far away from the BS of all of this going on. America. Stay away, family. Stay out of their face. Handle your business. Be great, though. It, it's really it's mental, though. It's mental. You know, because I kind of found that out a long time ago when you're dealing with these people. Well, I, I say about five years ago. It's, it's, it's mental, especially when you're dealing with the police. You kind of stay in this post-traumatic slavery disorder. You kind of stay in this constant state of fear, especially. <clears throat> matter of fact, it was even um, it was a conference. It was like this big black conference with a lot of uh, prestige Black people was at a while back. I think it was one of those. Um, what was it? What what they call it? The um, the black um, state of the black union. It was like state of the black union with like Dick Gregory, a bunch of those people. But it, what they were saying was, uh, you know, judges. If you talk to any black, you know, black people with high positions, judges, nigga, like, and that's funny. Judges, l lawyers. Ball players, people that got money, like black people that's prestigious work good. They still, when they see a police officer, there's something in their subconscious mind that gets this fear. And these people that's up in life, they ain't doing no drugs, selling no drugs, they ain't got no Benny car, they ain't, you know, it's just the subconscious mind. We just, black folks just automatically, just from coming through the oppression of so many years, you see them blue lights, niggas like, Oh, nigga, I'm talking about nigga, lawyers, nigga, whomever. It don't matter, nigga. That's just black people. But they, they was talking about that shit, though. So that's why I say it's in the mind, man. It started in the mind, though. And that's, I think, a long time ago, I learned how to look at things more or less as an illusion, especially when you see a motherfucker get behind your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like you automatically get in a shutdown state. They got you in a constant fear shutdown state. Motherfucker, you get behind your ass. You start driving crazy and shit. And it's just your mind just going to tell you like, oh shit, this motherfucker finna pull me over. Like a lot of, a lot of times it'd be up there. But if you kind of live in that, in a mindset to where like that shit don't exist to you. These motherfuckers ain't fucking with me. I'm doing what I'm doing. They can't touch me. Kind of like how Billy when you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we untouchable. Nigga, we going through these lights. Nigga, we running red lights. Nigga, what DMX said. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we untouchable. Nigga, we running through red lights. Nigga, we, we can't be stopped. Nigga, that ain't what he said, but I just felt like doing that. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. It was something like that, yeah. <laughs> they had to do that accent that What's up though, Brian? Stacy. I see everybody chiming in. You watching the T Love Toss podcast. This episode on thirteen, y'all. Please like the video. Like the video. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been on in like a week, but we here though, you know. We still here. We ain't going nowhere. We typing the little end of the year chop up, you feel me? Open the show up with my new song, I Choose You. You can go check that out on YouTube. If you don't want to be on Facebook and you want to go on YouTube, you need to go on there and check my own new song out. T-Love, T-L-U-V, space, I Choose You. Go check that out. What else been up? See my nephew on there. I don't know if we're going to get no special guests on here tonight, y'all, or not. I tagged about nine people in the video. Um, Smiley Law may come on. I hadn't talked to Black Constantine. So um, if those... Those brothers on tonight, they more than welcome to get in on the chat or whomever else want to get in on the chat and just talk about the good and the bad. That's all we doing. Y'all see me. Y'all know where I'm at. So, you know, this is why I try, this is why I try to find out where y'all at. Y'all y'all know where I'm at. I'm right here. Brian, what's up, nephew? What's something good happened to you this year, man? Mm -hmm. I talked about my bad. That was... That was, that, was, that was one of my bads for the year. I, I ain't had too many bads for the year. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't had too many bads for the year. <coughs> I mean, I think that that shit come, that bad shit, that shit come with the mindset. It always starts going back to the mindset when you having a bad day. You know what I'm saying? That's usually based on something that you've created inside of your mind so it doesn't you know, you done created that bad day, you know, and certain things has elevated you to that point. Well, now it seems like shit is spiraling. I mean, and it happens too, because the mind is powerful. The mind is all, you know. But I do think you could turn that shit, that bad, into good, though, you know. Just gotta know how to flip that energy. Smiley. Man, Smiley trying to Message me. <laughs> this nigga messaging me. Not on the not on the um the podcast. This nigga messaging me on the whatchamacallit. Okay, I see Rochester chiming in. N Y. Yeah. Alright, fam. Believe that. Believe that. I see my brother Maurice chiming in. What's up, big bro? Not too much. Uh, chilling. All these long ass 12 plus hour mandatory slave labor shifts. Lit, lit at the moment. Right now, though. <laughs> real talk, nephew. Real talk. Yeah. Nigga want to talk about bads, man. You can definitely talk about some of these jobs, man. These long-ass shifts, nephew. You ain't never lied about that shit, nephew. You ain't never lied, boy. Motherfucker. Man, I be coming across some people that make good money at their jobs. 
but they hate the people they work with. <clears throat> That's this thing about this life, man. If you didn't have to, if you could just pick everybody that you like wanted to work with and just hand pick them, then the moment they cross your ass, you could just hit a button. Make the end disappear. But yeah, man, I, that's a funny thing though, man. I, I do I do know a lot of people that make real good money, but they just can't stand, a lot of them can't either stand their bosses or they can't stand the people that they bosses favor over them, situations like that. So, you know, it's always something, man. When you're in corporate America, big bro, where you at big bro? I know you're on that road. Chill and sleep as hell though. Well, I hope you ain't operating that machinery sleeper. I hope you duck pulled over somewhere to the side, cozy. Watching your little bro do his thing tonight. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that share, big bro. Y'all make sure y'all share the video, like the video. You watching the T Love Talks podcast? This episode thirteen. We just talking about the good and the bads of twenty eighteen. We ain't really doing too much. Just smoking on a spliff tonight. Just trying to see what y'all on. We open the show up with the new song. I choose you. T Love original. Come on, man. Classic T Love. Open the show up with that. Then I talked about one of my bads. I can talk about some of my goods 2018, man. It was some goods, man. For one, <clears throat> I Choose You. That was a dope record, man. Just drop that. Go to YouTube. Check that out. I Choose You. T-Love. T-L-U-V. Space I Choose You. Check that out. Um... I mean, a lot of wonderful things, man. Decision to marry my wife, man. Just some beautiful stuff this year, man. Just, just great, great energy popping off here. 2019 is going to be even more explosive. I mean, I'm just, oh, bro, you in Chi-Town? Ooh, it was chilly up in that bitch. Ooh. Rubby on it. Rubby on it. Rubby in that shot town. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Fresh is, fresh does. Check. So. Smiley, you trying to get in on the live feed? I see my nephew still watching. Shout out to everybody that's still watching the live feed. Um, you watching the T Love Talks podcast? This is episode thirteen. I, I actually I went on late tonight. I said I was gonna go on late tonight a little bit intentionally. Um, I just wanted to see who the late people be. You know. I normally try to go on at third. I, I normally try to go on Thursday around eight p.m. ish, but tonight I intentionally went on late, and you know, I wanted to see who all the late folks are. You know, I like that nighttime energy. You know what I'm saying? That nighttime be the right time. You know, so. Vampire shit. But yeah, I'm still here, y'all. Episode 13. Um, just looking to move forward. Um, again, like I said, y'all, not telling everybody what your New Year's resolutions is, <coughs> what your plans is, unless it's somebody that can help you 
put that plan together. You know, don't even, don't even, um, don't even trip on telling everybody your resolutions. You know, just go ahead and handle your business. You feel me? Cause a lot of time we get caught up in telling people, hey. I'm finna do this, I'm finna stop smoking, I'm finna lose this, about 20 pounds, whatnot, finna stop drinking, no, 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 no. Cause see what you're doing is you're boxing yourself in, you're putting yourself in a corner, you know what I'm saying? Cause then you got people trying to judge you, then they energy throwing your shit off, what you need to be doing. Man, focus on, on handling business, man. Don't tell nobody what your new year resolution is, what your plan is going forward. You know, just handle business going into the new year. You know what I'm saying? A lot of time, motherfucker mm -hmm. will either steal your fucking your fucking dream right up under your nose, or a motherfucker be hating on your dream. You know, right up under your nose. <laughs> and at the end of the day, that shit don't pan out. You know what I'm saying? So you know if if you 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 know your dream you know what you focus on you know your resolution of what you want to do going forward to the new year so you do that shit keep that shit up here you know what i'm saying <clears throat> keep that shit to yourself you feel me yeah you keep it to yourself man ain't nobody can't nobody come into that and, and, and knock that or block that you know what i'm saying you just be strong and, and making sure you manifest it and do it and it, even if you fall off the bandwagon, you ain't got a bitch right in your face. And like, ah, oh, I knew this nigga wasn't going to stop smoking black and mild. <laughs> know a lot of y'all want to stop smoking them bitches this year. You done already put in your head. I ain't smoking no more blacks. Well, goddamn it, even if you want to stop smoking them, do that shit because you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell nobody. Just do it. I'm saying be real with yourself. That's the problem. A lot of time we won't be real with ourselves, man. I see Deshaun chiming in and show love chimed in. Hey, y'all uh, like the video, share the video, episode 13. You know what I'm saying? We're just doing a, a, a end of the year toast, you know what I'm saying? Last, last 11 days of the year or whatnot. Vibing out with your boy T Love. But yeah, y'all. So, um, I can tell you right now, last year, I did not do my resolution. I didn't do that shit. I told a lot of people. I made some great progress, though, this year with. Shit in general, like I can talk about me stop smoking blacks because I'm six months clean off black, so I could talk about that. That was something that I put in my head uh, <clears throat> midway during the year, and I was like, you know what? I got a um, I got a milestone coming. My birthday in February. T Love, you gotta stop smoking blacks. Look y'all, see how smooth my skin is, man. I don't even know. Stopped smoking black six months ago. I don't even know. Okay. All right, play with it. Win stronger. <coughs> man, that was, that, that was clutch for me. But yeah, keep your shit to yourself. Go into the new year. Focus on what you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody get get in the way of that shit. Don't let nobody stop you from what you need to be doing going forward. You feel me? Man, if y'all just not chiming in, y'all know this is the T Love Talks Podcast. It's episode 13. I appreciate y'all chiming in. Y'all could be anywhere else right now, but y'all fucking with the boy. Just talking about the wrap up. Good and bads of the year. I 
think next week we're going to talk. We're going to go into um, more. We're going to be more strategic next week. Okay, I see Big Ivan chiming in. What's up, family? Make sure everybody liking the video, share the video, family. Um, but I think next week we'll next week we'll go into more about what's going on in whatever, whatever in in society, what society is doing. I was just checking in with y'all this week. We'll we'll have some topics. We'll talk about Cardi. We'll talk about Kodak. We'll talk about all that shit next week, nigga. But I was just vibing out with y'all tonight, though, just to see what everybody on. <clears throat> Good, Ivan. Grinding. Yeah. I'm going to find something to uh -oh. play for y'all. <clears throat> Real quick. And the motion, if you're mad, you just, you just, you just feel it. People don't know the stress I'm dealing with day to day. Speaking about the feelings I'm possessing for Renee. When Renee died, that was a really tough time. No. Sorry, y'all. Watching the T Love Talks podcast episode 13. What to do, y'all? This year gone, man. About to start up a new one. 2019. Shit you didn't do last year. Appreciate everybody chiming in. This is T Love Talks Podcast, episode 13. I'd say Trump was probably one of the bad. Um, I say he was probably one of the bads of 2018. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the attention that black folks gave this dude. So it goes back to what I was saying about the police. You know what I'm saying? When you give something in your mind power, it starts taking on, it starts taking on this image and this image becomes real in your life. 
it, it, that's not the word I want to use. It started taking on this, um, what's the word? It's like a, it's almost like a, like a spirit. It starts taking on on a spirit. So, so Pete did. So you got Trump on the news. You know they're talking about all this <coughs> bullshit. This dude tweeting. You got all these other different scenarios where he's speaking. You know, spewing bullshit rhetoric. You know what I mean? So, as this is going on, the media eating this shit up. This motherfucker all over Twitter, all over um, social sites, all over the news. It's like it's almost like it goes back to what they keep doing to black black folks. Weapons of mass distraction is what I like to call it. You know what I'm saying? I think that was the worst thing about Trump, man. It's like people get so caught up in the distraction and at the end of the day, in the reality of it, let's be real about the situation. Trump don't affect what's going on in your life, bro, sis. Obama didn't affect What's going on in your life, bro? Sis, as much as I know y'all would like to think that it, it affects your life, it doesn't. Life is here. Life is here. So whatever you put up here, that's what will project and what will be the theater of of your livelihood. So for me per se, I don't watch the news. So I know what goes on because I read the stories when I see them on the internet. And then if I'm on the radio, of course, more brainwashing, they're going to play the stories on the brainwash to tell you what Trump did. I don't give a damn. Nigga, why do y'all niggas give a damn? is not affecting your day-to-day -day life. Your day-to-day -day life consists of you niggas eating hot Cheetos, niggas eating pork chop sandwiches, uh, going to work on your shift, knocking that shift out, going to get you a bag of reefers, then going to get you a six-pack, 12-pack, setting up for the basketball game to watch that. Whatever niggas do. You're not in the White House, bro. Sis, you're not in the Oval Office. You will never go to the Pentagon and have lunch with Condoleezza Rice, nor none of these people. And I know she's not in office, but I like to say her name like that. Trump, none of these people. It doesn't exist. It only exists to your ass because you're paying attention to the illusion in the matrix. It doesn't matter to you. You're home smoking weed watching me right now. All this bullshit Trump talking about building a wall. You probably won't be living to see it if the wall does go up. If it does go up, will you have to jump over the wall? Do you have family members that may be confiscated? Taken into custody because they've jumped the wall? No, asshole. I'm sorry, y'all. No, people. It doesn't affect you. But you think that it does. Y'all love to be entertained by these Europeans. I think black people just love to be entertained by anybody. And I honestly feel like 
we're constantly waiting on a savior. I'm not knocking nobody religion, but I'm saying in modern day religion, it talks about a savior, waiting on a savior. And it seems that black people are still waiting on a savior. We don't have the mindset to back away from what these people are doing. <clears throat> Even though we know that everything we do seems like it's center stage. <clears throat> everything that melanated people do is center stage on the planet. Everything we doing. I mean, if you look at it, even with Trump, his whole thing of who he is is about tearing down other people and, and finding a logical way to get away with it or to talk about how, you know, people are, you know, like black folk, you know, we should be glad um, he's in office. We don't have anything anyway, whatever. <sighs> my peoples, my peoples. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. The only thing that matters is what you're willing to do in your existence while you're here. Are you going to let these people drain you with all of this BS? You're going to let them drain your energy? You're going to let them take your power with all of this foolishness? Go back to stuff that's happening over in, in uh, the Middle East or whatnot. They'll keep you engaged. You know why? Because you got family in the military. You got people over there. So they're going to keep you engaged. But guess what, though? Everybody got a choice. That was their choice. And guess what they doing? They doing what they mind telling them to do. That don't necessarily mean they right. But at the end of the day... They're going to have to deal with their creator, you know, going to war for this European, you know what I'm saying? And we know what time it is. We know this, this entity is, is basically destroying civilization all over the planet. And we know that. So... That's where it's our responsibility to say, hey, <clears throat> is we going to keep sending our kids over there? We're going we gonna to keep doing that? It's up to us. Are we going to keep participating in his illusion? He told you that you was fighting for freedom. Well, guess what? Before that freedom, before that freedom, We was dealing with something. We was fighting for another freedom. Before we started fighting for this country, we was fighting for another freedom. And we had great examples when brothers came back from world wars, black black men, and they were treated like trash when they got back over there. And it's like, damn. <clears throat> brothers fought for the country, helped Help the white boy win the war. They treat him like trash. But for some reason, since their finesse game has has gotten better, and you know, a lot of our people are eating that way. Big up. If you ate and you done moved on, you got your food, and now you on your you on your own thing. Big up, salute. And you still got your sanity and you still got your mind. But a lot of times our brothers and sisters don't have their mind when they leave those um, situations, those 
those um you might as well say they're they orders of they're they're like certain fraternal orders to an extent. <coughs> you know. That's really what it is, man. They don't this if they have to choose a side, it'll be that side over the blackness. Well we already know. Everybody choose they choose them. But we don't have to get to that though, black folk. Well, my nigga show us say good boy, I gotta see you. As a, well, man, yep, yep, for sure, my brother. But yeah, y'all, you know, this T-Love Talks, episode 13. Podcast life. I must keep the content rolling. You know, I don't know when, when my last breath gonna be, so I'm gonna keep the content going, you know. But uh, I, I really, I appreciate everybody, for sure. Like the video, y'all. Share the video. Um, comment. Just talking about 2018. Everything that's been going on, good and bad. Like I said, it's about us tonight. I didn't um I didn't want to talk about no um no topics, no loose talks. <coughs> we'll talk about that stuff next week. Um Yeah, we in week thirteen, y'all. Still been putting up a lot of content on the internet. I appreciate everybody's support for chiming in. Um Make sure that you go on YouTube and check out the new song, I Choose You. Um, just type in T-Love, T-Love, L-U-V, I Choose You, and the new song should pop up. Uh, make sure you go on there and check that out. But, um, yeah, man. Um... I said I wasn't going to talk about nothing, but, um, yeah, man, Michelle Obama selling her book, man. And I guess we can go deeper into the science, though. But, um, it go back to what I was saying a couple of shows ago. And this all pertains to the show topic, moving forward, going into the new year. And being able to know who you are, having knowledge yourself. But, like, you know, Michelle Obama dropped the book. You know what I'm saying? Everybody been talking about it. It's been going crazy. Michelle Obama been on Jimmy Fallon. Best selling list. She eating worldwide. But at the end of the day, that doesn't affect you that doesn't change your life you might read the book you might take some pointers out of the book and some of those pointers might open up your third eye it might give you a, an awareness but ultimately it's you that's doing it but my thing is just going back to that going into this new year learn to celebrate your own reaches and your own goals and your own resolutions that you hit. Learn to celebrate those. Don't cheat yourself by living this life vicariously through other individuals. Because at the end of the day, that ain't your book. That's Michelle Obama book. And you can be happy for Michelle Obama, but don't get caught up in the hype people because this entertainment and that's what it is is entertainment yes you get caught up in that shit family and you see another year rolling by and you celebrating your team that you looking to get a championship look at that look at the look at that aspect of it 
every year you looking for your team to go to the championship, whether it be high school, college, whatever, professional. Nine times out of ten, most niggas' team don't win, don't make it to that point. So that's another letdown in a, in a person's life if that's something that they focus on and put a lot of energy towards, which I know a lot of people do put a lot of energy towards sports and different things like that. But all I'm saying is set up your own championship runs, whatever that may be for yourself. Set up your own championship runs. I had to say that again. Whatever that may be for yourself. Have a trophy on the other side for something that you want to accomplish. Have that trophy set aside. You ain't even got to tell nobody that you in a championship, that you playing for the championship. You see what I'm saying? And I'm being kind of metaphysical right now because what I'm talking about is yourself. In your life, set up championships for yourself instead of living so vicariously through other people to try to set up to enjoy their championship and enjoy their run. But again, that's their run. That's not your run. You set up your run. That's what we're doing in 2019. We're setting up our own run. Don't, don't wait on... On... I'm saying you're going to need other players, but what I'm trying to say is if you don't have those players, go get those players that you need to set up your run. You know how you go, you get 21 when you hit the court, then once 21 over, we're, oh, we're going to run, we're going to run the whole court. Know your five in your head already who you're running with. You feel me? Create that shit. Can't keep can't keep running through other people what other people doing, fam. We can't do that in 2019, you feel me? Just talking about the good or bad. Just giving my science. We ain't talking about resolutions this year. We just doing resolutions. I ain't we ain't niggas just putting plans into play. Have your plan up here. Don't tell nobody about your plan unless they can assist you with that plan or that resolution. You're going to win, family. Trust, you're going to win. You're going to win. T-Love Talks, episode 13. You know what it is already, y'all. Podcast life. Chopping it up with your boy, yours truly. Y'all see where I'm at. Y'all see what I'm doing. I just, I need y'all to let me know what y'all on. That's it. I'm right here for the family. You know, I initially created the uh, podcast to stay in tune with the family. So, you know, we can stay in tune with what's going on out here. See what I'm doing. Gas. Smoking on that gas. Okay, I'm going to put it out because it's small now, so y'all going to say I'm hitting the ropes too hard. Like, damn, T-Love, you smoking that shit down to the ass to the nigga. This shit good, nigga. This that blueberry nigga and that motherfucking, I ain't even going to call that shit white fire. It's that black fire. It's that green fire. Another form of white supremacy. Nigga, give you the weed, tell you the shit called white fire. Nigga, this that black fire, nigga. Because guess why? It's that black fire because that's what I say it is. I create up here what I say shit is. I don't let other shit be defined by what society say that shit is. You create your own paradigm, people. Own paradigm, family. But yeah, y'all know what it is. Oh, y'all said y'all want to hear the song one more time? We're going to listen to I Choose You one more time. I guess I don't normally 
through this, but since y'all want to hear it again, this is I choose you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been in love? see where we at time wise because we may be wrapping this show up but I definitely wanted to chime in with everybody I appreciate y'all chiming in with me let's see where we at with time right now because I said I was only going to run the show like a little bit over an hour normally I do two hour podcasts but I started late tonight anyway intentionally because I wanted to see who y'all late night jokers be right. see who be up on that late night make sure y'all like the video like the video, share the video, y'all. You know, we ain't going nowhere with T Love Talks, episode 13. We're going to be here um, next week. You know what I'm saying? Ancestors Will. We're going to be talking about more topics, uh, more of what's going on inside of the culture. We're we always going to deal with the culture. Um, again, Know thyself, though. Don't get too caught up in 
and that's what it's going to be with me a lot of times when we do deal with different things in the culture. It's going to be more of a, a, a tool to look at what those individuals are going through to show how caught up we are inside of the matrix dealing with these Europeans on a day-to-day basis. So we can go, we're going to go more into that, y'all. Definitely. But um, I appreciate y'all for real. Oh, let me get back to it. Let me see where we are with the time, y'all. Time. Hold up. Okay, so I really can't tell where we are with the time, but. Yeah, I appreciate y'all though, for real though, for real, for real though. Um, next week again, we're gonna get it in. We're gonna go even more into. I guess we'll talk about the new year. You know what I mean, see what everybody talk about on the new year. Where we at with time? Fact checker. Oh damn, we've been on an hour and thirty minutes. I'm finna get out of here, y'all. I ain't finna get out of here. But I appreciate y'all watching tonight. T Love Talks, episode 13. Um, just kind of doing a good and bad 2018. Didn't really have a whole lot I wanted to talk about tonight, but I definitely wanted to show my face and I wanted to um chime in with the family. Uh, you know, of course, let y'all know about the new song. Um, but yes, like the video, share the video. Thursday, 8-ish. Tonight, of course, we was late-ish. But y'all already know, we here though. T-Love Talks. I'm T-Love, telling you to do what you love, family. Peace. Till next time. One love.